Okay, let's continue with our uh, series on linear programming. This is the last uh, the and final part, uh, the eighth part of uh, our series. Uh, so we're going to uh, talk about two questions, uh, discuss two questions. How do we select uh, the pivot element and uh, uh, then um, uh, when uh, should uh, the uh, pivoting uh, 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 the, um, the process uh, stop? Um, Okay, and then we'll uh, uh, go over the pseudocode of the simplex method and uh, uh, a quick walk, uh, walk through a Java a source code which is published on GitHub. So let's consider this table X, Y, Z, U, V, and um, uh, B, S columns, um, the basic uh, solution, and then U, V, R, and P slack. Uh, uh, U and V are slack variables, and uh, P is the objective uh, function. Uh, so how do we select the pivot element? Um, it's, uh, this is one of the methods uh, uh, from the book uh, Finite Mathematics by McKee and uh, uh, Thompson. So uh, we're going to take a look at the bottom row, the P row, and uh, we're going to ignore the value in the uh, basic solution column, uh, BS. Uh, that value does not um, uh, figure into our selection. So we're going to find the most negative entry in the P row modulo the um, BS uh, value. Uh, the, so this is obviously minus uh, minus 10. So the variable X uh, is called the uh, entering uh, variable. Now here's a question. What happens if there is uh, no negative uh, entry in the uh, P row? Well, that, that means that we're done. That's when uh, one of the conditions uh, when the pivoting process stop and uh, stops and uh, uh, the tableau uh, actually gives us uh, the solution. Well, more on that in, in, in a second. So, um, um, so let me write it uh, up. Uh, if the bottom uh, row contains no negative entries, the basic solution given in the tableau is a solution to the uh, SMP, uh, standard maxima maximization uh, problem. Okay, now, um, uh, well, that means uh, now how do we uh, select the departing variable? Uh, we're going to uh, take a look at the uh, column uh, of the entering variable at the x column, right? And then uh, what's going to happen is that we're going to um, divide the values, uh, the corresponding values in the basic solution uh, column by the um, values in the uh, column of the departing variable, the x column. So um, in other words, we're going to divide 160 by 2, right? So the column of the entering variable x is 2 and 5, right? And the corresponding values in the basic solution column is 160 and 100. So we're going to divide 160 by 2, and then we're going to divide 100 by 5. Okay, uh, and then uh, we're going to choose the uh, minimal value, the smallest, uh, the smallest value, and that's how we're going to select um, uh, the uh, departing, uh, departing variable. So why smallest? Well, because we are uh, 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 trying to uh, get rid of the variables uh, that, um, um, well, do not contribute as much as the other variables. So that's the logical explanation of uh, this uh, process of choosing the departing variable. So we, we're we going to get rid of the variables that do not contribute as much because we're solving the uh, standard maximization problems. So 160 divided by 2 uh, is equal to uh, 80 and then uh, 100 uh, divided, by, uh, divided by 5 is equal to uh, 20. So V is going to be our uh, departing uh, departing variable because that's the that's the smallest um, uh, uh, value so V is the departing variable so it will be replaced by uh, X okay so it temporarily gets out of the solution so 5 is the pivot okay so that's how we uh, found uh, we found the pivot uh, 5 is the pivot that's the intersection of the departing and the entering uh, variable the cell uh, so what uh, what we're going to do is uh, now we, we have to do the pivoting. We actually covered it in the previous screencast on uh, uh, linear uh, programming, but let's just summarize. It's a linear algebraic operation, so we're going to divide uh, the um, uh, v uh, row by uh, 5. So v is going to be equal to uh, 1 over 5 times uh, times v. 
and then uh, when uh, uh, when uh, uh, that division is gonna uh, is gonna stop, uh, right? So it's gonna be done. Um, we're gonna uh, take that um, um, row, the V row, and label it with X, and then we're gonna add um, minus two times uh, X uh, to U, uh, and that U will be the result of adding minus two times X to uh, to it, and then we're gonna add. 10 times x uh, uh, to p. So this is um, uh, okay. So so that we uh, we will um, get rid of the um, non-zero entry entries above five and below five. Right. So uh, u will be uh, equal to minus uh, two uh, times x rho x plus u, and um, <coughs> p uh, will be equal to. Minus five. Um, oh, I, I'm, uh, I apologize. Ten times uh, ten. Ten times uh, x plus um, uh, plus p, and u and x and um, uh, p are rows, right? They're not individual individual uh, variables in this notation. Okay, so uh, let's um, uh, draw the uh, resulting table. So. Uh, okay, v equals one over five. Uh, uh, one fifth times v uh, is going to give us one times uh, one over five. Two, zero, one over five, um, one over five, and um, and twenty. And twenty. Okay. Then we're going to relabel it as x. Okay, x will be the variable now. Will become one of the variables that uh, will figure in the final solution. U will be equal to minus two x plus uh, u, and that give us uh, zero. Um, uh, eight over uh, five. Um, then this cell will give us one um, minus one, and um, okay, minus one over five, and um, and then a hundred and uh, sixty minus uh, forty, a uh, hundred and twenty. Okay, and then p is going to be equal to ten times x plus one. So and that will give us zero minus four uh, eighteen zero uh, zero. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, two uh, and then and then uh, two hundred uh, two hundred. Yep, twenty times ten, ten <laughs> twenty times ten plus zero. Mm, okay, so now. We're gonna okay again choose the pivot. This time it's uh, eight um, uh, over five, the pivoting uh, element. So, and um, uh, so the entering variable is uh, y, uh, and the uh, exiting variable or the, the departing variable uh, we're gonna divide 120 by eight over five, or 120 times five over eight. Uh, it's 75 and 20 times. Five gives us uh, gives us a hundred. Okay, so u is the departing variable, and the pivot is this eight over five. This cell. So we're gonna do again the the pivoting, uh, but uh, I'm not gonna draw it out. Uh, uh, and okay, uh, I'll just um, let me um, draw out quickly the uh, resulting table without the uh, details. You can uh, do the arithmetic, or you can have the program that we will discuss later in the screencast, uh, the Java code, do the arithmetic for you. Um. Okay, x, y, z, u, um, v, b, uh, s, basic solution, 
and um, y x p okay so that's the result variable we're done because there are no negative uh, values in the uh, p row okay so the solution is the basic solution is uh, to the SMP problem is uh, y equals uh, 75 x equals um, uh, 5 and the value of p is uh, 500 uh, well the value of p uh, um, uh, okay so the value of z is 0 because it's not in the column of the um, variables uh, in, uh, row variables right uh, z is equal to 0 u is equal to uh, 0 and v is equal to 0 any variable that is not uh, uh, the name of the row um, does not enter into the value of the objective function so 10 times 5 uh, uh, plus uh, that's the value um, of um, of the objective of the objective function. Ten times five mm, plus six times uh, seventy-five uh, plus two times zero. So it can be read from the uh, starting table above. So ten x plus uh, six y uh, plus two um, uh, z. Okay, what happens if um, there is no departing variable? So here is a sample uh, tableau where there is no departing variable. We choose the smallest value in the P row. That's minus 2, clearly. But there are no negative, uh, uh, there are no positive entries in the column, which, which, uh, which is a second condition when um, the process stops. All right. Okay, so that's again like pivoting stops when there are no positive entries in the uh, chosen uh, column, right? The column chosen, uh, uh, the column that contains uh, the most negative value of uh, p, right? Okay, uh, so so here's the pseudocode of the uh, simplex algorithm. Uh, we're going to check if the problem is an SMP. Um, we did cover it in the previous uh, uh, screencast and encoded in the tableau. If yes, uh, we continue. If not, we terminate the algorithm. Introduce, we're going to introduce the slack variables and formulate the initial tableau. Again, we discussed it in the previous um, uh, uh, parts of this screencast. Um, and then we're going to uh, go into a loop and we keep finding pivots and uh, 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 do the uh, pivoting operation until um, uh, the pivoting can no longer uh, be done. So like, for example, as, as in the uh, uh, tableau above, where there is a most negative, the most negative en entry in the P column, but uh, none of the uh, values on the uh, uh, column above uh, the P value are uh, positive. Uh, so if there is an entering variable, but no departing variable, um, so no mm, positive entry, in the mm, entering uh, variable uh, column, as in the table above, uh, uh, then the problem has no solution. Um, if um, uh, all of the values in the p row are positive, uh, so the next um, uh, pivot, pivot cannot be uh, uh, determined because the p row has no negative elements, then we're done. The problem is solved, and then we're just reading uh, the values of the uh, variables uh, um, uh, in the in the in the basic solution column, right, of the corresponding variables, and the p row gives us the coefficients of the um, all of the variables. So the um, and the non-zero is just a a, a, a point uh, a node. The non-zero slack variables are the uh, slack amounts that are not used. Um, so, depending on um, what you want to do with them, that shows if you have too much slack, uh, you may not um, use your solution. You know, maybe you can reformulate the problem, uh, right? Because sometimes op optimizations. Uh, um, optimized uh, function is like a pyrrhic victory where there's so much slack, so much unused material that you may think twice before actually uh, uh, carrying out the solution in practice. Okay, and this is a, a very, very quick uh, uh, walk through the uh, Java source code, which is published in GitHub. Um, so the mm, description uh, below the screencast will 
contain a link. Um, so uh, there's several classes, uh, linear programming tests and Tableau, and then it uses uh, two uh, classes for the ratio arithmetic, ratio dot Java and ratio uh, uh, ratio uh, uh, arithmetic um, uh, dot Java. And then uh, the Tableau class um, uh, has um, uh, the main method, which is simplex, and that's the um, uh, that's the method that um, actually um, uh, does the simplex method as described in the source code. It finds the entering variable, and returns um, um, uh, a solution is found, which is encoded as solution yes, and finds the departing variable. If there is no departing variable, it returns that there is no solution, and then it uh, keeps uh, doing the uh, pivoting. And doing the pivoting is uh, um, uh, is also done as we uh, discussed in our previous uh, uh, screencasts. So uh, there are uh, uh, quite a few problems. I coded up quite a few uh, tableaus uh, for uh, from uh, um, uh, chapter ten, section three of uh, uh, finite mathematics, uh, third edition by uh, Maki and uh, Thompson. Uh, so, for example, this is the third problem. Mm encoded as uh, as the tableau uh, um, so the column variables the row variables and uh, and the matrix uh, and uh, there are other problems and uh, to test uh, the simplex um, uh, method as you could just uh, enter the name of the problem that you wanna uh, that you want to test in the main so let's test uh, uh, the first problem and then we can run uh, the file well this is NetBeans but you can use Eclipse or any other uh, IntelliJ and this is the the tableau. So the solution is found, uh, and then uh, that's the tableau. All of the all of the uh, values are encoded as uh, ratios. Um, so uh, so that's the value of p. Uh, um, so uh, then you can let's uh, let's uh, run another problem. Say problem eleven. Uh, okay, run this file. So that's another uh, another uh, another tableau uh, with the uh, with the solution. So uh, the source again. Uh, the source code is um, okay. So that's sev seventeen. Okay, let's an run another problem. Okay, so here is the solution to uh, problem number seventeen from uh, from that book. Um, all of the variables um, uh, here and the values in the BS uh, BS column and the value of p uh, is in the uh, bottom right uh, corner. Uh, so. Uh, uh, the encoding is pretty simple. Uh, so we have the column va variables, string array, row variables and with their little names, and then the matrix where each uh, cell consists of uh, a ratio, uh, a ratio number. Um, uh, so the code is uh, uh, commented uh, fairly well. So take a look at it and uh, run it uh, to understand uh, how the simplex method works. Thank you.